you and hope that you consider that because otherwise it's just another, yet another in the iterations of ways to fake people out, which is not. Next speaker, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, my name is uh, Jeff Schwartz. Hello. I've been a uh, public librarian for the last 20 years. I'm also a Culver City resident and the author of a reference book on jazz. Oh. I'm here to deliver petitions with over a thousand signatures opposing Supervisor Ridley Thomas's eviction of the Mamie Clayton Library and Museum. Papers were served April 18th, but plans for the site have not been made public. As a civil servant, I know how long it can take to plan and fund a civic building. There is no reason to evict the Clayton before plans are actually in place. These petitions show the community wants it to stay. The Culver City Democratic Club has passed a resolution in support, as has the LA's subject consortium of libraries and museums. The supervisor's office did not respond to an official letter from the Culver City City Council. Culver City Mayors Thomas Small and Megan Sally Wells brought him plans for a building which would house the Clayton, a constituent services center, and affordable live work spaces for artists. These plans were rejected without comment by the supervisor. His recent press release on to Clayton does not mention its film, music, and other public programs. They welcome many community events and groups, including the Black Association of Documentary Filmmakers, the California African American Genealogical Society, Karen Bass's Congressional Arts Competition, Culver High's Academy of Visual and Performing Arts, and the recent African American Leadership Forum organized by Councilmember Daniel Lee, which featured Holly Mitchell and Sidney Kamlinger Dove. A year ago, Culver City elected Mr. Lee as our first ever African American city councilman, and the community is beginning to address our history of discrimination in housing, policing, etc. We want and need the Mamie Clayton as a presence and resource. Please stop the eviction and give them the stability and resources to catalog, protect, and display their collection. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Okay, as a former uh, person that lived in that district, I know how important it is to have libraries. And I'm a teacher, I read books, and those people really should take every effort. I would like the petition to be in, widened out, and I'd like to sign that petition. I didn't even know that a, a library in South LA was being attacked by the county. And so please, send that petition out on some type of a YouTube, some, some way with, with uh, you know, some other, whatever, you know. Let me sign the petition. Now, the reason I came here wasn't to talk about this library. I came okay. here because I'm having a memorial service for Doris Day, who was my, my favorite movie star. Mm. <laughs> and she loved dogs. And I happened to be planning a church that allows dogs. And I already had the event started last month for May, and this month, June 2nd. So everyone is invited that wants to do a memorial service for Doris Day on June 2nd, starting from 4 o'clock, going till the evening, at 14801 Plummer Street in Panorama City. And here's the reason I wanted it was because I, I was kicked out of my, uh, my, my Catholic church because my pit bull kept coming in and I couldn't <laughs> control him. And so this is a dog that would allow, this is a church that would allow dogs. Hmm. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. and, and it's basically like, here's where the dogs would be on the mm -hmm. bottom floor, mm -hmm. and up here, each, each person would be 18 people on each floor, or no, six times, 36 people. This would be for, HUD, for HUD and for uh, mental illness type people to, to live, and they all need dogs. We all need dogs. Dog is God. It's the same thing if you're dyslexic, so we should have a church for dogs. Thank you. Lovely idea. Next speaker, please. Hello, my name is Carlene Brown. I too am a resident of Culver City in Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas's district. And I'm very proud of our former mayor, Thomas Small, and our current mayor, Megan Sally Wells, for having long advocated to keep the Mamie Clayton Library and Museum of African American History in Culver City. I am one of the people who helped to gather those signatures 
And I'm glad to know that there are many more people who would like to have the opportunity to sign this petition. Uh, I went to the Obama Avenue uh, Street Naming Festival and there encountered overwhelming positive response to our petition to keep the Mamie Clayton Library and Museum of African American History in the community where Supervisor Yvonne Braithwaite Burke intended that it would be in perpetuity. One young black man who signed our petition said, tell them to leave it alone. LA County African Americans that I know and people of many other races in numerous social justice groups that I work with agree with that young man and are incensed about Supervisor Risley Thomas's eviction notice. So I'm here to say proudly, keep it where it is. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Patricia McAllister. I'm here, I want to first talk about this budget that you have out here. 